Hello everyone, welcome back to XCOM Enemy Within. Alright, so I've taken the time before recording to properly outfit my ravens with the EMP cannons, even though I'm sure I'm not going to need it because my demons are, n are never going to be defeated. But just in case, it's there. Aside from that, I don't think there's anything to do but wait, I still need to just increase my soldier's psionic strength and then use the ethereal device. So we just need to get fighting. Simple as that, and also collect as much melt as possible. Because I need to give, I think, I'm not sure how many, how many more soldiers need the the mind thing. I don't remember what it's even called. What is it called? Neural damping. Yeah, I'm not sure how many people need that. It's at least one, obviously. Graves needs it. I give it to you, right? Yeah. You're good. Soul? No, I give it to Finn. Yeah. Alright, so Finn. Isley. Spectre doesn't have it. Finn and Isley. And Arrow, so that's three. So yeah, that only leaves, um... Oh, I just realized something interesting. Alright, so yeah, that only leaves Graves. As far as the normal soldiers. And my normal loadout of soldiers. However, I just realized... Your mech troopers are actually not immune to being mind controlled and mind attacks. However, they can't have gene mods or items. So they're actually always, always going to be vulnerable. I guess there's no way to avoid that. Huh. Alright, let's go back to waiting. Well, there's all the armaments done. Oh, and the drone capture project, which allows us to capture drones using the arc thrower. Which I'm probably never going to ever give to my troops again. Because the only thing that gives you is research credit. And I have no research to do. <laughs> do, do. Oh, it's a little small scout. It's so cute. Objective harvest life specimens. Uh. Why? You know, uh, fine. Let's make it fun. Sure, let's harvest live specimens. Who am I going to give it to? Do I have anyone with long legs? I don't believe I do. No. I'll just give it to, um... Gary Warner? What few months do you have? You have mimetic skin, that's it. Alright, well, Arrow's good to go. So I'm actually, I actually am going to use Gary Warner. Yeah. Alright, so yeah, I'll give you... Since you're most likely to be up front because you're a mimetic skin and you're assault class, I'm gonna give you the arc thrower. And the improved arc thrower at that, which I've actually never gotten a chance to use. Finn, you're good to go. Weapons, you're good to go. Graves and Isley, everybody's good. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. This is all my people with abilities, right? Yeah, it's just two. Oh, and there's Annette Durand, which I don't want to use because she's extremely low level. Alright, we're good. Small scout. Oh. One. Prepare for landing. We're moving into Argentina next. The threat there seems to be the most pressing. The alien craft landed in a remote area, which should help to minimize any risk to the surrounding community. Fascinating, Central. Thank you. You should write a book sometime. I would love to not read it. Roger that, Big Sky. Strike one, you are green to deploy. Approach with extreme caution. Current enemy status at the site is unknown. Alright, we're in a corner right now. So, where's the edge? Ooh, this is actually quite large. Uh, this is actually massive. Holy shit. Okay. I guess we'll just head straight... Well, I think we're... I'm not sure if we're just in 
like a river, or if this is where it crashed. Actually, no, this can't be where it crashed, because then all this wood would be destroyed. So let's just head right into the center here, diagonally. On the move. Oh. Well, that was quick. And I really want the meld. Well, that's just asking for an explosion. But I should capture them. I guess. Fine. I'll try to capture them. No promises. No promises. Hmm. It actually has an extremely high chance of killing it. And she would be able to shoot again if it did kill it. Because of her ability. In the zone or whatever it's called. Hmm. But she's not in cover, so that's not smart. Whatever, let's just get the party started. Let's go! Let's do this! There ain't no cyber disc, there ain't no sectopod here. I can handle this. Especially if they group together really dumbly like that. And then again, can I really can I really chastise them for grouping together dumbly? Anyone remember what I did in that Exalt HQ mission? Yeah. Now they're even closer. However, before sh you know what I could do? Oh god, this is perfect. Unfortunately, I can't use my arc thrower on them and take them out, but you know what I can do? I can soften them all up with an AoE attack and then kill all of them with Isley. Why not? Why not? Let's use her abilities. How do I do that? I want to use their mind fray to exercise their mind. Let's go ahead and move you up. I can even flame them. Oh boy. Or I could just launch a grenade in their faces. Let's do that. Okay. So how much damage does this do? Nine? Nine. Which would actually kill them. Which really isn't what I want. Hmm. Oh, I know. Oh, okay, here's what I'll do. Yeah, okay, so I'll flame the front ones, kill the front ones, and... In the interest of using the Arc Thrower, I'm going to Mind Fray the back one, which will keep it at bay, allowing me to hopefully Arc Throw it next turn, and at the same time, exercising the minds of my soldiers. Let's do that. That sounds good. This might burn a little. <laughs> uh, that's John Cotton Candy Smith's dark sense of humor. Alright, let's get some mind fray here. It's actually it's actually gonna do six points of damage? Damn. Is it really gonna do the full amount? Or no no, I think that was five points of damage, right? Yeah. It's actually impressive. Especially since it has a guaranteed chance to hit, at least in that case. I don't know if it's always guaranteed or or if it depends on certain things, like maybe the enemy's will. I don't know if I actually don't know if enemies have a will of their own. They might not. Hmm. Can you not use it from... Oh. I guess you have to be closer. Well, I don't want to kill it. So, let's just hunker down. It shouldn't be able to hit us. I mean, it's not guaranteed. It's just a reduced chance to hit, after all. But... Oh, no, don't run away. Uh, no. Well, now I certainly can't arc throw it. You know what? I think it's time that thing died. Yeah, I think it's time to kill it. <laughs> Unless I want to 
I mean, I could do a disabling shot and try to track it down, I suppose, but we're gonna just hit a new enemy at some point and then it's kind of too late. I know there's a cyber disc here, so I really don't want to drag it out too long. All right, well, you know what? Let's move you here. Let's let's see what's waiting for us. Okay, we got. All right, so we have we've got intel here. We have four turns, and there's nothing dangerous here. Okay, so you know what? Maybe we can wait. If only I could make them stay. I could disable their gun. Which, you know what, that's actually what I'm going to do. Yeah. That is... Oh, that is not how you aim a sniper rifle, Isley, but it worked anyway. Do you think it's more likely to run away if I get up near to it? it probably is. Eh, I need to move anyway. I really need this. Well, I don't need it, but I want the meld. Just to do more upgrades. I mean, I do need it in the immediate term to do at least Graves' mind, but I'd like to do more than just his mind damping. I'd like to do more, like, I don't know, depth perception or the heart one that makes it impossible for you to die. Well, I mean, not impossible, but, you know, impossible to die from when you get below zero help. How, fuck, how do you explain that? The thing where you don't die instantly. I mean, you can still die if you don't get patched up. But, you know what I mean. The one where you actually have a chance in hell. That one. Time to motor. Hmm, actually I can't hunker down. I guess I'll just have to end the turn because I don't want to overwatch. I took this arc thrower into battle and I'm sure as hell going to use it. End turn. Don't you run away. No. Don't. Stop. No. Actually, that might be okay. Is it... Uh, yeah? Yeah, I'm just inside of the ring. The... How, how dumb is this berserker? Or It's not a berserker. Whatever the hell it is. Super muton, heavy muton. How dumb is he? He didn't repair his weapon, so he can't shoot. Okay, so he's deciding to run away. That's fine. However, he ran into a place that doesn't have any cover at all. He didn't achieve either thing. He didn't he didn't achieve either goal well. He didn't He didn't do offense well because he can't even shoot and he won't be able to shoot next turn. And he didn't do defense well because he's not even in cover. You are an idiot, my friend. Moving. I'm going to capture you. I've suddenly decided I don't give a flying shit about capturing you. I've suddenly come to that decision. I've suddenly decided I don't give a shit about the meld. I've suddenly suddenly decided I'm gonna run away. Hold on, what's my chance of getting you? 95%. <laughs> no. Right. I mean, I could capture you, but then I wouldn't be in cover. So let's go ahead and not do that. Yeah. Nope. You can die. Actually, I might as well just kill you, right? I was thinking I want to move you, but I can just kill you and then move. Thankfully, unlike Double Tap... In the zone actually allows you to keep your movement turns, even if you have no one else to shoot. I shouldn't say movement turns, I should say action points. Yeah, it allows you to keep them. Whereas double tap, it does not. If there's no enemies to shoot, it uses up the rest of your turn. Which sucks! Si, Alright, I want you to have a clear shot at the inside in the door of the UFO. I'm thinking, fuck the meld. Actually, no, why? Well... I could... Mm. Yeah, okay, we don't need to throw out the... the baby meld with the bathwater. Provided there's no enemies on the outskirts here. Please don't be. 
Okay, good. I can move closer, which means I can get it next turn if I need to. And I can also launch a proximity mind. Which should ruin their day if they decide to come outside. Have fun with that. Um, was I stopped short by hitting a body? I, f I felt like I aimed it more here than there. But that's fine. Now, we need to find full cover. Actually, you're both in full cover. That's good. That's good. That's good. Flame, grenade. Hmm. Let's just get a little bit of a height advantage here. I think maybe I should just leave them here. They're in full cover. They're a pretty good distance. And they can overwatch. In fact, could I shoot a grenade or a rocket inside? No. Not quite enough reach. Well, that's not where I expected you to come out from. Is that really all you're doing? Okay. I'm just going to shoot you with my sniper. I like how his outline is pink. Very pretty. Hmm. Is it really not in range of my proximity? Oh, fuck the proximity mines. Who cares? They never seem to work. Ever. Ever. I guess there's no way for me to get in the zone here, right? Well, actually, maybe. I could use collateral damage and reveal you. I could, actually. But then again, collateral damage would itself kill it. So, hmm. And I would like to capture it. Maybe I still can't. Oh, drone hack. Drone hack! Oh, I gotta see if I can use that, although there's really no point. You seriously have a 12% chance to hit. <sighs> I think I should just collateral damage. I'm gonna get this meld. Because I can. Because I want it. Should I launch another impotent proximity mine? Just blow everything up, whatever. Do stuff. Make make stuff happen. Blowy. Blowy explosions. Explosions. Make stuff blow. Look, I didn't even hit him because I didn't give a shit to aim. It's okay, though. It doesn't even matter. Oh, it revealed another one. Actually, wait. You seriously can't hit that one? Oh. It's not in cover, but it's actually blocked by the pillar. Well, shit. Can I shoot that thing? No. But I can do this and blow up all the things. Launching. Glowing orb of death. That thing is beautiful. Oh look, we've revealed even more. Hi. Look, more targets for Isley and her wonderful ability. Who should I kill? I feel like killing you. Goodbye. Would anyone else like to join in on the fun? I have two more targets. Ooh, I can't kill you. No. Nor do I believe I can kill you. Who's left? You. Graves. Hmm. That thing takes a lot more damage than it looks like it should. Uh, I wonder if I can make it panic by burning it. That'd be kind of funny. The best thing to do, honestly, would probably be to try to shoot it twice. On the other hand, I really want to kill this thing. Has Overwatch, though. 
and you. Hold on, why can't I move you here? Oh, you don't have the muscle fiber density thing. That's right. Shit. That sucks. That's gonna be easier to try to go for the cyber disc. I guess not. Let's see, have I already captured one of these things? I can't remember. I don't think I have. I want to. That's gonna be my goal, is to capture that thing. So how do I protect myself from it? Hmm. Hmm. This sucks. All right, I'm gonna pop his Overwatch. Going pro MLG strats here. I'm gonna pop his Overwatch. And, oh great, that makes it so I can't shoot it. 2% <laughs> chance to hit. <laughs> great. Anyway, that means I can now move you here. Um... Let's go ahead and jet boot here. Let's get up close and personal of that piece of shit. I'm gonna shoot you in the face. I'm gonna shoot you right in the face. Right in your ugly mug, and I only have a 52% chance to hit. I could blow it up. Hmm. What's gonna make it likely for me to be able for me to be able to kill it with Isley? Oh my god, that thing is so creepy and also kind of beautiful. Look at his rhythmic tail. Look at that. That is really cool creature design. Seriously, major props to the creature design of the Cyberdisc. It is incredibly cool. I want to kill it with Isley. Isley has a very good chance to hit it and a very good chance to crit. But it's not going to do a super amount of damage, so I need to do a bit. I could do a guaranteed 5 to it. Well, up to five. So do I take the guaranteed five or the 50% chance to do a lot? That is the question. I'm just going to ignore the ethereal. I'm going to take the gamble. The gamble didn't pay off. Well, she... Can I pop a smoke on your ass? Nope. Not gonna be popping anything on your ass. Mm. I'm fine, but this just got awkward. It just got really awkward. Do I take the shot? 17% chance. Hmm. Why don't you hide in a corner? Hmm. Alright. Maybe we'll kill it? Unlikely. Yeah, it's not dead. Nope. Yeah. Even if I'd done the grenade, it probably wouldn't have worked. I could maybe take a shot at it. With Graves, but I really don't want to put him in danger. So I'm just going to overwatch. Well. Eh, yeah, I'll overwatch. Alright, do your worst. The cotton candy can take it. Or just move? 
Holy shit, Grave saves the day. I didn't expect that Overwatch to land the killing blow. I thought it would just shoot my mech. Why didn't it shoot my mech? Why did it move? Oh, hi. Yeah, whatever. You can have him. I didn't like him anyway. I'm just kidding. I love you, Tyra Tyrone. That is Tyrone, right? I'm, I'm not misremembering your name. I can't even switch to you now. I hope it's Tyrone. Is it Tyrone? It doesn't say. Whatever. Yes, yeah, Tyrone Moose M. Yeah. Okay. I probably need to soften it up first. Alright, we need eyes on it so I can shoot it with Isley. <laughs> need eyes for Isley. No pun intended. I could even burn it. In fact, let's go in behind it. Hi. Let's take him out. Oh. Hmm. Need to find some new cover. Yeah, about that. I'm seriously starting to not want to capture anything. Just like fuck the arc thrower. This is way more pain than it's worth. What do you even what is that the mech? that's the mech, right? Yeah. I'm just looking at the outline. Okay, I could disable its gun, actually. But then even he is in threat of being taken over by you, little shit. I really want the ethereal, though. Okay, who, keep, who keeps making that footstep sound? Finn, please stop. Finn, I can see you're making the splishy splash noise. Okay, I can see the particle effect on the ground. Please stop. <sighs> Alright, I should probably just blow them all up. To be honest, I probably should. Although it actually won't quite kill the sectoid. Well, hold on. Hold on. Okay. It's gonna be a crazy combo. I think I can pull this off. Let me let me make sure I'm doing this right. Um Actually wait, can I even combine it the way I think I can? Hold on, hold on, let me think this through. No, I can't shoot first. Shit. Shit. I, I need to kill this goddamn ethereal this turn, or Tyrone is going to wreck me. If you make an ethereal panic, does it break the mind meld? I kind of want to grenade myself. I know that sounds weird. Fuck. Fuck. Alright, well, fuck capturing this thing. We need to kill it. What's my chance of hitting you? It's not bad. Let's take it. Reflect as much as you want. I think you're dead, actually. One damage? 
All right, all right, fine. Oh, you're okay, Gary Warner, don't worry. All right, I can probably just kill it. I really want to capture it, but I really don't. I really want to capture it, though. But I really don't, but I really want to capture it. But if I don't capture it, I mean, if I don't kill it... Yeah. No, Tyrone's too much of a danger. Way too much. I don't think there's any way to break the mind meld. Although I could try flaming it, but that's just going to kill it. Hmm. I don't know if this is going to work. It's got its reflection thing. It might just reflect some of the damage. No, don't, don't mind fray him. Alright, this is going to sound strange, but I'm going to do this. You might ask yourself why. Why did I just blow up myself? However, you have to realize what that allows me to do. That allows me to do this with Isley. The sectoid commander is now dead. And the turn has not been used up. Now the ethereal is going to be dead. And my turn is not used up. And for my final thing, now the mechtoid, who you'd think would put my mech inside of there in extreme danger, is now disabled. All in the same turn. That is not how you aim a gun, Isley, but that's okay. I love you anyway. MLG! Hell yeah! As much as I'd like to capture a mechtoid, you can't capture robots. So I just need to kill it. I really wanted to capture something, but I don't think it's going to happen. Not unless there's more. Let's move up so I can shoot a rocket around the corner if I need to. I'm actually impressed with myself for that play. How often would someone consider shooting themselves for the sake of doing more damage? But that was a damn good play if I do say so myself. Now it's going to move and it'll probably reload, right? Yep, there we go. Fix this weapons. And now its entire turn is used up. Oh yeah. The plays. The plays. I could even disable you. As fun as that would be, I might as well just kill you. I need ammo here. Hmm. It's not the end of the mission. There's more. I might actually be able to capture something yet. But where? Already there. Go take a peek. Hmm. 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 Oh, the drones! Oh, we're totally gonna capture some drones. We gotta. Yeah. really no cover here. I kind of blew everything up. Whatever, I'll move in. A pitily, a pitily little drone is not going to kill Graves. Anyway, he has the heart thing, so he can't even die. Not instantly, anyway. Time to motor. Can you mine fray a drone? Probably not. I don't think they have mines. Holy crap, you've got legs. If I could enter you into the Olympics, I would, but I don't think they would allow it. Some rule and regulation about fairness. Pfft.
The thing is, any disabling shot against it is just going to kill it. So that's really not going to work. Electro Pulse would kill it. Well, actually, disabling shot might not kill it. I can't even use it, though. It doesn't matter. I'm going to capture that thing. Even if I have to run out into the open to do it. I don't care. I'm going to capture it. Oh, there's two. That's awkward. Hey, Gary Warner, I heard you need some backup. Let's give him something else to shoot at. Hey, Tyrone, I heard you need some backup. They're all scared. They're probably pissing their circuit boards, thinking I'm going to blast them. Nope. I'm just going to reload. Reloading weapons. Good luck, drones. Your move. Well, you know what? I will overwatch, actually. Because at most, she's only going to kill one, and there's two. Oh, actually, you can kill one. Oh, well, no, it's inside of the smoke. Eh, just reload. Come on. Yeah. 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 You want to shoot? You want to shoot? Go for it. Oh, I critted for four. It's adorable. Oh, I created for three. So cute. No need to ask twice. I didn't ask twice, I only asked once. Drone Haxor. <laughs> Can I use it this turn? You probably can't, right? No, of course not. Alright, goodbye. <laughs> Poor little guy. Commander, the operation was a success. Oh, I wanted to use the new drone, but I didn't want to drag it out too much. That was a fun mission. That was fun. I like that. Well done, Commander. It's always good for morale when everyone makes it home safely. Alright, it's a little bit of a hairy thing to do, but... Since we just did a mission, it's probably going to be a little bit until we get a new one. So I'm going to take the chance and put my only high-level support, Graves, in for Neural Damping. I'll have the selected volunteer sent to surgical prep immediately. Once the genetic modification is complete, I will notify you directly. I wonder how long it's going to take to get my, my Psy skills up. And you have a lot of upgrades. Alright, so what other stuff do I want to give my troops, really? I mean, Mimetic Skin would be good for all of them. But I think it's over the top and kind of cheap, so I don't really want to do it. Uh, muscle Fiber Density actually would be very good for everyone to have, I think. Yeah, that would allow increased mobility. In some really nice, really nice situations. Might be the most important one, actually. Aside from the secondary heart, I think secondary heart and muscle fiber density are what I want to go for. Come on, don't get a new mission, don't get a new mission, don't get a new mission. Yes, okay. Complete a gene modification. They want 20 weapon fragments, I have 115. Uh, No, I don't need money, what's the point? Very difficult. Bullshit. Nagoya. I don't even know where that is. But I'm going there. Okay, we're definitely taking our best for this one, though, because it does say very difficult, which it is probably not true, but... You know, those sectopods are a bitch.
All right, Finn. Yeah, this. Yeah, this is definitely the m group makeup that I want. I'm not going to take a stupid arc thrower. Oh, hold on. He did. Make items available. Okay, medic's got a med kit. Everybody else has the standard outfit of stuff. Good weapons. Every class. Yep, good to go. Time to go to Nagoya. Oh, is that Japan? This is Japan, isn't it? Pretty sure that's Japan. My geography isn't very good, but that looks like Japan. Yes, Japan. Oh god, civilians. Ripping pieces, civilians. Ripping all the pieces. Taking place within a major city. If the aliens are targeting civilians. The good thing is the civilians are can cannon fodder. The bad thing is they're cannon fodder. Central strike one is locked and loaded, awaiting drop orders. Affirmative, Big Sky. Squad is cleared to engage hostile targets. Watch your fire out there. We have civilians on the ground. Repeat, civilians are in the AO. I'm I'm sorry, what was that you, you said? Did you say fire a rocket indiscriminately into the dark? Oh, okay. Alright, this is actually a very good map for me, because it's very directed. There's only one way to go, which means the chance of getting flanked or anything like that is very low. There's really nothing to do but advance forwards, which is very convenient. Don't need to worry so much about troop placement. Or getting flanked or something like that. Alright, at least I can save some civilians here. Oh, hi. I heard you like being punched in the face. Is that true? Actually, I might as well just shoot you. Actually, no, I might as well just punch you, because that doesn't take ammo. Yeah, I probably should just punch it. Let's go ahead and do that. Never punch a chrysalid before. Now I've done everything. Actually, no, I haven't. Not even close. I haven't punched... Actually, there's a lot of things I haven't punched. I haven't punched an ethereal. That'd be fun. Do you think I'd be able to deflect that? A fist to the face? could mind meld it. <laughs> mind meld. Mind fray. Just to exercise. Or of course I could just shoot you. Actually, to be honest, the best thing to do would be to move you up this turn. So that next turn you can actually have a good vision of the battlefield, because if I put you around here, most of your view is going to be obstructed by vehicles. Alright, let's just use Mind Fray whenever we can, but I really do need to worry about the civilians. I want to actually save them, if I can. So let's just focus on that. How do I do that, though? I can't shoot you, and I can't really blow you up. Hmm. I guess just that... Okay, here's what I'll do. I'll get... Nope, never mind. Apparently you can't see it. I was gonna mind freight and then shoot with Isley, but it was not to be. Alright, just shoot it. Move you up for next turn. Move you up a little bit.
I get a pretty good spread here. Actually, a very good spread. A delicious spread. One I would like to put on my toast every single morning. If I had toast every single morning, which I don't, I actually rarely do. That didn't sound good. Something about the way they screamed made me think it's probably... Probably not a scream of pleasure. But probably one of pain. Actually, that was kind of stupid. Why did I move you up first? I should have moved you up. Never mind, maybe there's nowhere to put you. Uh... <laughs> There's really nowhere to put you except here, but then, of course, you'd be flanked from anything that would shoot you, so... Eh, whatever. My famous last words before I discover a sectopod. Whatever. Oh, my entire squad's dead. Whatever. I don't really want to move you up that far. I'll put you here. And Isley, any high ground? Not really. I'd like to put you up here. It's actually a pretty small map. Yeah, there's got to be some really big stuff down there. Man, I really want you in a good position. Ah, but where? This isn't bad here. Should be able to see most things up here, but nothing in... Nothing down there. Still, though. It's decent. Get some Overwatch. And Overwatch. I think we're actually going to save a decent amount of civilians here, although I'm sure I'm about to hear some screen screams. You're dead. <laughs> More than dead, you're undead. Nice! Bullseye! Oh, I want to shoot a rocket at you so bad. But that damn civilian. Why, why did it just go there and make a noise? There's no one there. Right? I just came from there. There's no one there, and they couldn't have died even if there was. Full cover, 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 nope. Not gonna happen. Okay. Let's save civilians and scout. Alright, so they're right down there. I should probably just wait for them to come up. I'm sorry, civilian, but you're in a very inconvenient place. I would have to get myself flanked to rescue you, so you're going to have to wait. Oh, hi. Uh, civilian? I saved you. You're supposed to leave now. Ah, she can't see it. There's a lot of civilians down there. To be honest, I, sh I really should move her up. I'm going to. I really want her to have a good look down here, because I'm going to have to shoot some big stuff. There's got to be something big in this map. There's got to be a sectopod or a mectoid or something. Yeah, 
Oh, you can actually... Oh, you can see it. I didn't think you could. Oh, well, you're dead. put down a proximity mine for the fun of it, but to do that would be extremely dangerous to the civilians. And besides, the proximity mines seem to never be any good, ever. Ah, it seemed like such a good idea, didn't they? But nope. Just didn't work out. Overwatch and wait for them to come to me? Yeah. I'm sure they're about to float up in a second. Oh yeah, Finn. I'm on the move. Could shoot a rocket right down there. And only kill like three civilians. Please come for me instead of the civilians. What? I don't... What? Okay. I will accept that. Oh, nice shoes. Look at her shoes. They're very pretty. They have little flowers on them. <sighs> that really didn't sound good. Alright, maybe I'm not doing too good at saving civilians. We're quickly approaching my last record of basically half of them dying, half of them being saved. Which isn't great. I don't know, it's not horrible. Hmm. Well, that's pretty much another guaranteed death. Let's go ahead and try to kill you. Because. Because. Oh, I should have mind, mind frayed you. But anyway, because I want to be able to move you while having you still on stealth, I want to know what's down here. And also save some civilians in the process. Half cover. Full cover. Unfortunately, not close enough to save a civilian. But I'll take it. There's gotta be a sectobot or something down here. Oh. I didn't think that was in range. There's gotta be something up here, right? There's gotta be. This said very difficult. There's no way it's a very difficult mission with only chrysalids and heavy floaters. But anyway, I guess I can jump down and shoot you in the face. Wherever you where were you? Somewhere down here. There you are. Actually I got kinda lucky with that, that was a crit. There's obviously something more where the mission would have ended. It's gotta be something big. Let's move you into a nice central position. Damn sectopod. 
Thankfully, it's not doing anything yet. In fact, it doesn't even seem to know we're here. Which is nice. Oh. What's the best way to go at it? Can I reach it with a shredder? Um... Depends on exactly where it was. I... maybe. I can't tell. I should probably just scout it out. Yeah. Did it just move towards... what the fuck? It just reacted as if it could see her. At least I thought it did. Maybe it didn't. Maybe it's just an idle animation. But it can't. She's invisible. Anyway. Alright, I can't quite reach it. I also can't move up without losing my height advantage. Which would be rather unwise. In fact, no one can really touch it except Arrow and... Isley. And shooting it right now would be a rather bad idea. What the hell do I do here? Well, I can save you. That's something. What? Why did... Did you have to get on the car? Did, what the fuck? Okay. Fine. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's get some damage in for next turn. Did that land where we're supposed to? Yeah, I think that's fine. Alright, I want to keep my people spread out, so if it doesn't AoE, that, um, uh, if it doesn't AoE, we won't be totally screwed. I would like to move you into place to shoot a rocket. <sighs> Let's do that. She'll shoot a rocket from the comfort and the safety of full cover. Let's just put you on overwatch. Hopefully if that thing moves it'll trigger that explosive and also trigger Isley's overwatch. That's my hope. Thing is, can any of my other troops actually do anything to it next turn? That's what I'm seriously wondering. Like, should I leave my troops here or should I move them up? I don't know. The thing is, if it decides to stay put next turn, then it might just decide to use this gigantic AoE attack. It can do that from very far away. That's why I kind of want to move my troops up. I'm going to, so at least I can reach it with a grenade. Come on, move! Um, why is it moving when the Overwatch is... What? I'm pretty sure the Overwatch should have happened before it moved. But anyway, okay. Does it know I'm here? Yeah, if an Overwatch triggers but it misses, does it know you're there? I actually don't think it does. And of course, my proximity mine continues to be impotent. A proximity mine that isn't triggered by proximity. The fuck? Alright, what can we do to it this turn? Ooh, that's temp- that's really tempting. I could fuck this thing's day up.
Let's do it. Let's do it. Gonna shred that thing. Gonna blow up all the things. Please don't miss. That thing is beautiful. Oh my god. I think I pissed it off. What do you think? Okay. Now you should be able to launch a grenade. Mm hmm. It's not going to do a lot of damage, but it's something. You can't do shit. Eighty <sighs> percent chance to do four damage, nearly guaranteed not to kill it. I've got that, and I've got this. Why can I please see how much damage it's going to do? I can't. I can't. It won't tell me how much damage it's going to do. I can't see the thing. Okay. Fine. Well, it's obviously not that much. It's probably safer bet to disable it. Hmm. I really don't want it to rain destruction. I'm going to do it. Ooh, it critted. This, okay, this... Okay, I've got this then. Ooh, I'm so glad that critted. Has one hit point, right? Yeah. What is the greatest chance to hit? The normal shot. Well, okay. I might not have this. There is a 1 in 100 chance that it won't work. Thankfully, we were in the 99. Mission accomplished. Excellent. 12 out of 18 civilians. Eh, not bad. I'm glad to see our troops aren't hesitating to wipe out the aliens. I guess I shouldn't have expected any mercy. What would be the point in showing them mercy? They just want to kill me. Like, yeah, okay. We can be best friends. Hey, why are you shooting me? Hey, why am I dead? Oh. That sucks. Panic has decreased across Asia. Remember, we will be watching. Yeah, let's just say I don't have to worry about panic. I'm a little bit disappointed none of my troops have upgraded their psi abilities. Oh well. It'll happen. It'll happen. Hmm. I've got a decent amount of meld. Who else do I want to upgrade? So Graves is done. Arrow has <laughs> way, way, almost too many upgrades. Isley's muscle, muscle fiber density. You're good to go. What about Finn? You could use muscle fiber density. Let's give it to you. Excellent. We'll begin prepping the candidate for surgery immediately. I will notify you when the genetic modification process is completed. That's Spectre. No, you do have depth perception. Okay, that was the cheap one. Oh, there's also hyperreactive pupils. Not bad for a sniper, especially one with double tap. Makes the second shot have a greater chance of hitting if the first one misses. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Thank you, Commander. I'll have the volunteer prepped and ready for surgery shortly. I'll send word when the procedure is complete. All right, well, things proceed well. Unfortunately, still no progress on the Psy front, but definitely a lot of progress on the Gene Mod front. So I hope everyone has enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.